All right, so we have this pretty dirty rug here that we got from a client's house. And as you can see, it's pretty dark on one side, has one big urine stain right there that they could not get out themselves. And uh, what we're gonna teach you here today is really just to, and you know, on how, how to do a top-down cleaning, you know, and also how to hit some chemicals at the same time with your vacuum. <laughs> but what you can do is, is uh, number one thing is, for a top-down clean is just vacuum, vacuum, and vacuum. That'll probably be your number one key uh, to do. And then we'll get into some other following steps here pretty shortly here. But this is just a rug that we brought to our rug shop. And instead of putting it through the whole rug pit and rug ringer, rug ringer and all that stuff, we just went ahead and um, just doing a top-down cleaning on the concrete here. So as you can see, we're overlapping our vacuum strokes as much as possible. Even at different angles too. It was filled with a lot of pet hair. They had a, a big dog. He was like a lab and St. Bernard mix, as you can see. And this rug is a mixture of a polyester and a nylon mix. So here what we're doing is we're using the new TMF modified sprayer here. And we actually use some Frog Nasty on this since this is, the, this is a synthetic rug. As you can see, it's already looking better just from, just from pre-spraying it. Some of the areas I do go over a couple more times. I don't really oversaturate it with the pre-spray. It's not needed because we're going to agitate it anyways. So here we're using the CRB. This is the TMF Multi-Clean CRB. And we're using the blue brushes here. And again, when I'm CRB in you know, certain areas, we will go in different directions as well. Remember, with a CRB, you guys can also do an encapsulation method too on it. But in this type of manner, you know, it has so many dog oils and so forth, you're gonna have to do some sort of extraction on it. See how much better that looks just by just by using a CRB? It's almost night and day different. Some, some of the customers, when you're CRB in a, a rug or certain areas of their house, they're already like, oh, you're already done? Oh, wow, it looks great. <laughs> but no, there's still a lot more steps to do here. And this is uh, Edwin who's CRB in it for us. We're kind of switching turns here. He's been with us for many, many years. Great guy. He's also our truck mount installer. So anytime you guys have any uh, questions on truck mounts or installs or repairs, feel free to give us a call in. He'll be glad to help you out. As you can see, we're agitating this as much as possible for, for the rug and for the customer and for all of us to, to make life a lot easier for us. And remember, you know, with polyester, you know, no matter what you clean, you won't ever be able to get it 100% correct. It's kind of like, uh, you know, polyester is made from plastic. So it's kind of like taking a, a water bottle and crunching it all up, and, you know, as much as possible and then trying to get it back to look normal again. It's just not going to work that way or look that way rather. So it's going to, it's going to still have some wear and tear. But as you can see, just on one pass right here, you already see a night and day difference. You can see the colors truly pop out of here. And what we're using it, we're using a uh, blue two inch TMF limited edition swivel wand. And this is the updated wand here with four jets and a TMF glide. As you can see, it's already turned out really good here. And, you know, for booties, you know, booties are pretty much optional for people. Uh, we tend to use them, you know, while, while we're uh, cleaning or, or while we're, um, you know, doing a post spray of some sort of uh, sealant. And this is a type of carpet that will, uh, you know, push from light to dark, but you guys can still see that there is a difference in the cleaning methods, even at different angles here. 
And this is in our warehouse. It was a little bit earlier in the day where, where we do have a lot of shipments going out on the left-hand side. There's probably 100 boxes right there. Still many more to go. Uh, no matter what, when you're cleaning these rugs, I always like to overlap on each stroke. But, you know, a lot of times, you know, certain dirty areas, you're gonna have to go over a lot more than just twice. And that's just to fully get, you know, any type of uh, dirt and grime and you know, just make the polyester pop a little bit more. The rinse we're using is the Ultimate All Fiber Rinse because we're using a higher pH. So we do want to drop the pH level on the rugs, so that way it'll prevent any browning. And this rug does kind of pick up. Uh, some of the guys, you know, if they're going out doing jobs, they'll bring, you know, a couple of uh, weights and you could put a weight on each end if it's just you doing it as, as if it's just you as being an owner operator. And of course, you know, you're not always going to be able to clean rugs on concrete. Uh, if you're cleaning on certain types of floors, I, I suggest that you lower the PSI a little bit and of course bring some drop cloths. If you don't have drop cloths, make sure you get some uh, white terry cloth towels. So that way you guys can uh, pick it up, you know, pick up any water excess on the sides. And at the same time, I'd also bring an air mover too while, while you're at the customer's house. And that way you can be letting that run while you're cleaning and then also while you're wrapping up all your hoses. So hopefully by the time you leave, the rug will already be dry. And remember, this is a synthetic rug, so we really we can put anything on it. Uh, if you're running into certain natural fibers, you can use something called Rug Smack. You can also use uh, uh, Ultimate Fiber Rinse, and you can use uh, either Supercap with Unchained or Supercap Oxy times three. Any of those are great for uh, natural fibers and even synthetic as well. All right, and to do a final touch on this, uh, we're actually using the Orbot Slim. And of course, of course you know, everybody's gonna do this, but we're just doing a little post bonnet uh, just to grab up any excess. A lot of times we'll do this more so on commercial carpets, but since this is a pretty bad section right here and it hasn't been cleaned in a very, very long time and they wanted it to look brand new, so we're just gonna give it that extra pop and put on a microfiber pad on the Orbot Slim. And again, the Orbot Slim is really supposed to have the wheels down make it a lot easier, but uh, he is lifting it up right now, so it's kind of like a, almost like a 175 almost when you're moving it in that manner. But as you can see, it makes it pop as well. It's pulling up a lot of those, uh, those dingy polyester fibers. There you go. And we do sell the Orbot Slim. Uh, they actually have another Orbot that's coming out called the Leo, L-I-O. And that'll be in our store uh, within the next week or two. And you guys can pre-order that. Same thing with the, the cordless uh, TMF Monoprofide Sprayer. We, we, we did have a pretty big batch of that, but that sold out during the first week. Yeah. So here you can see the before, and then you'll be able mm -hmm. to see the after. It's night and day difference. Hope you guys enjoyed.